Hey guys, welcome back to some more Rory McIlroy two, 2009 <laughs> PGA Tour and part 7 of our career mode. In today's episode we start the Arnold Palmer International, or Invitational I should say. As you can hear, pro probably hear that I've uh, got a little bit of a cold, so if I go a bit delirious you know why. But uh, yeah, thank you for all the support on the series so far. People seem to be enjoyed it i think the current plan is to, to to go to about 10 episodes and then we'll we'll have a uh, a discussion then whether uh, we're going to continue it full time obviously uh the, the the whole idea of the channel is to do things i enjoy but also do things that actually do well on the channel and uh, you know we'll 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 bear that in mind when we uh, put it up against snooker or uh, put it up against uh, cricket for example ashes cricket was back last night if uh, you haven't caught that that's on a sunday and a wednesday at 4 p.m uh sorry that this episode is out a little bit late today uh it, it's usually in the 4 p.m slot but today it's in the eight o'clock slot uh, bite me <laughs> nbc golf channel on ea sports in association with the pga tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Now over to the sixth hole. Early in the round and playing reasonably well, nothing great, but has certainly not given a whole lot away. Yeah, and actually a good good position to really springboard the round from here. Whew, uh, I, th I thought we'd uh, not carried the water there, but that's uh, that's pretty good. And in the fairway. Second shot. So I'm gonna go an extra club or two here and loft it a bit. Oh, solid strike. That should be pretty good. It's very good. Very good start of the round here for us. That was just a gutsy shot right there and a good look at Eagle coming up. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Could be. Yes, it's in there. What a start to the round. Five off the lead of Harmon and Gonzalez. Par five, Frank. It is time to finesse one up on the green here at the par three seven. Just a little under 200 yards. There's a big mound in the middle of this green. The flags above it, and then you've got to be really precise. If it's short of it, you can use that mound as a backstop. So that one settles about 18 feet away from the cup. Pretty good shot. Some snack though. Another chance here. Could be. Oh, it's in. Well, I thought it was a bit pacey, but what a start. Well, don't expect that on every hole, guys. <laughs> Getting ready to tee off here at the eighth. Frank, this hole has it all. Dog leg, bunkers, water. How do you successfully navigate it? it was such a pretty looking hole, Rich. That bunker down the left just sort of pops out and you see it. So you can either work it off that to the right, either that or just aim a little right, but be careful of those trees on the right. Pretty good. Oh, nice little bounce forward. Should be close to 300, 290. Frank, this is a pretty good par for the eighth. What about the approach shot? Such a intimidating uh, second shot here at eight. I think it's the best one on the golf course, Rich. You can see very quickly why the goal is to hit your second shots. Nice oh, dear. And get them to oh, dear. Off. This... Oh dear. He's back on dry land. Wow. This time he swings, he doesn't have the water wings on. So this is his fourth shot after the last one found the water. Yeah, it's not all over, but uh, right now too, he's staring uh, down the barrel of a, a very bad hole. Sit, sit. That's okay. And he's made the green. We might get a double here. Unfortunately, unless we feet. can uh, pull off a very, very good putt here. It's not far away. 
Oh, wow. Well. may have been a bit too much to ask for there, that distance putt, Frank. Yeah, it's fine to be greedy before you hit the putt, but after you've hit it, two from that distance is fine. That takes him to one under on the day. Never mind. <laughs> Finishing up here on the front side at Bay Hill with a lengthy par form. What's the key, Frank? Well, the hole's relatively flat, uh, but the rough on the right comes into play. If you can carry that ball 300 yards, then just take it in over the bunker. It's pretty good. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway over 300 yards. Well, do. It's on the on the dance floor, as they say. But not his best. Yeah, outside chance really for uh, for birdie, but um, really it was a, a rather poor approach shot. Well, this one's tracking. Could be. Oh, what a putt that is! And well, birdie. With that birdie. And there was hope. Now in the top 25. Just a superb performance on the front side. He's hoping to keep it going here on the back nine, Frank. The game is so much easier when you're swinging well, putts are going in. Really, you've just got to keep out of your own way. Just need that to sit. And it will. Long and, and it will. That's how you do it. In the fairway here at the 10th, nice way to start off the back nine. Frank, the tournament scoring record was set by Buddy Allen. That was way back in 1973. A whopping 23 under. That's that's like a video game score. Yeah, they made sure that would never happen again. They lengthened the golf course. They, they, they firmed up the greens. They sped them up. They did everything to make sure that nobody, including you, ever shoots 23 under here again. That's there. Well... I don't know about 23 or no, but we're definitely giving this a good stab. Our featured golfer makes birdie, sitting comfortably inside the cut line. Another par four here, the 11th. It's just under 440 yards. This time, there's water looming left, and then bunkers on the right-hand side. It's a pretty good challenge, Frank. This hole is very similar to the third hole uh, on the front side. Two bunkers down the right side. Just got to keep the keep it a little left. You don't have to hit driver here. We moved that one out there, but he is not going to like the line. Uh, that moved down in the rough. Always tough here. Always tough, but that's uh, to like it. nice and safe. Headed for the green. Birdie try up next. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Ooh. Wow, that was so close, Frank. Just time to forget that one. I mean, you couldn't hit that much better. Well, power on the scoreboard to end the, the day for us. Stays at three under. There you have it, Frank. The first round is a wrap. We saw some good golf out there. It was certainly a fun round to watch. There's a lot of great players in this field, and this is such an exciting venue. I just can't wait to see what happens the rest of the uh, championship. Well, we make another shot up there and three off the lead of Brian Harmon as we uh, finish our opening round. And uh, I have to say, we played quite well there. Obviously, we had the double uh, bogey that set us back quite a bit. But, uh, you know, we, we putted well. Our approach game was generally pretty good, apart from that uh, dodgy hole. But, uh, you know, we've, we've just got to... Got to keep trying, and, uh, and, and you know, the results will come. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. It's second-round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Well, that's Matt Kutcher leading the way. The and what a terrible like start this is. Oh, nearly. Just about carried it. Yeah, I guess uh, the bunker was a little smaller than I thought it was. It looked doomed for that. Oh, this needs to sit. It's not too bad. But still, plenty of work left. About a 25 footer coming up. Might be. It's there. Well. 
good start of the day with the birdie. Five off the lead of Kutcher, three off the likes of Rose and Harmon. By any chance, do you remember exactly how many golf balls John Daly hit into the water at the sixth? It was half a dozen. Uh, half a box of golf balls. That's a good, good start. Very, very good. Up with the big boys now, Frank. Well, we saw that previous tee shot go 310. This one's further. Well, with a good shot here, Rich. But, uh, this eagle on the cards. Hole very reachable from where he is. Don't get many opportunities like this. This is a good place to take advantage. Well, another chance of eagle on this hole. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. No, not quite this time. Speed wasn't bad on that long putt, but the read wasn't very good. Par yesterday. Now for birdie. It wasn't a par yesterday. It was an eagle, you cheeky sub. <laughs> anyway. This time, that one gets him in the top ten. Breathing is How many holes have we got? Made it through the par three. Five without getting wet. Now you're at this par three seventh, Frank. You've got to guarantee a carry at least seven or eight yards onto the screen because that's where that bunker is on that right. It cuts in seven yards. That's okay. That's very good, in fact. That was a solid strike and a good result. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Oh. Close it goes. It's an extra shot. That one will definitely hurt. Just a couple of feet. Well, you know, a par's a par at the end of the day. Always take that. Good par putt right there. Let's move on to the eighth. And Frank, what's ahead here? Big par four. Just over 450 yards. Um, ideally, you want to get it down by that bunker where it's nice and flat because that's, that's okay. As long as it sits. Oh, just ran on a little bit there. This could be a tough shot coming up next. Frank, just into that first cut. Yeah, it's sitting up. Um, really, this, this isn't this isn't too bad a situation. Do not end up in the water again. Pretty good right there. Well, that is very good. Sets up well for the player. Birdie yesterday. A chance for another one today. Shouldn't be a problem. It's totally wrong on our scores from yesterday, but never mind. A nice uh, birdie there. And he has it. Instead of the double bogey from yesterday. Still three off the lead, though, as we go into our final yeah. hole of the round. Bay Hill always favours the longer hitter. It's pretty good. Outstanding tee shot. Yeah, ball sitting up. You don't have to worry about the wind or anything there. You just take a full-blooded cut at the second shot from here. There's a bunker over there. Come on. For it. Got away with just about. Right just missed that bunker. Yeah, that looked like it was sand the whole way. Shouldn't be too bad to put here. That'll certainly do. Clean this up with a tap. There you go. Did the job right there. So end of the round. Are we going to make so up another shot? Ten performance through two rounds, Frank. It's always nice. To know nope. I don't. Oh well, actually, hold on. We'll see by the end of the round where we are. Oh, we did make up another shot. So we are tied for second. Two shots off the lead. Uh, with Matt Kutcher and uh, move, going on to moving day on the Saturday of course is the, the time to, to go for it um, and you know I, I think we'll be quietly confident here uh, we have gained a shot already we are currently third according to uh, the, the, the game so let's see let's see how we do NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race. Ooh, 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 ooh. Today, look how close it is at the top. The Arnold Palmer Invitational. 
Setting up to start the back nine here, and if it's anywhere near as good as the front nine, Frank Hill will be very happy with his score at the end of the day. Yeah, the hardest thing right now is to just keep doing the same thing without focusing on the score. Oh, that's that's okay. This is just a superb performance. Great round to this point, Frank, and you can really see that reflected in his mood today. Yeah, it just looks too easy. Uh, swinging the club beautifully. Ball's going exactly where he, where he wants it to. He's not trying to take too many risks. So consequently, he's getting birdie opportunity after birdie opportunity. No doubt they'll be happy with that shot. Well played. This from about 10 feet. Oh, it's not hard enough. Well, he looked at it from three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely. Frank, how does that part help his cause? It certainly doesn't hurt it. Now to the point. I've got uh, <laughs> Tringale behind us. I thought it's a triangle for a second there. Here, Frank. The water down the left, but the hole keeps going that way, almost in a semi-horseshoe fashion. Two bunkers down the right, they always catch the straight tee shot. But, That's uh, pretty good. Once again, he, as long as it kicks left, which it does. Very good. Very good opening hole. Uh, opening drive. I am definitely going delirious with this cold. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Coming in now. Well, there's a big green, and they're going to use every. It's pretty good. Oh, well. Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that easy birdie. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. That's part for and it's uh, So where does that take us? One behind now. What a start. Par five, 12. Frank, how good of a scoring opportunity is this? Well, any time you get a par five at Bay Hill, got to take advantage of it. This could be pretty good. And it is. Could be an eagle chance coming up here. Drive down there, about 315 yards. Okay, the second shot now at this par five. It's going to be tough. Because of that bunker. That one because of that bunker. Oh dear. Well. Just a bit offline and into the bunker. Ian, the greenside bunker here, Frank. Nice to go to the beach, but not too often, we hope. It's a little splash out here. Oh, definitely Frank settle for that. Maybe what, the greatest bunker player of all time? Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Oh, what happened there? A little bit of a misread there. We smiles. Settles in over the putt. Goodness me. We completely miss hit that putt. So hanging in down the stretch. Ooh, Kutcher, the bogeys, and there's a four-way tie for the lead at the moment. Relatively short, but not necessarily easy. A yeah, stringent tee shot. Uh, a lot of people are It's a little bit right. It's a little bit right. Oh, it's in the boat. Oh, I feel like the rough is even worse. And this one is headed for the rough, Frank. Ball sitting down here in the rough. He's digging in. This is going to be tough. Oh, that's over the other side. Postage stamp on it. Airmail City. Dear me. Send it. So the second of the par four goes begging and. Now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. Oh, oh, well. Right it's going to be a par, which is a fantastic recovery, really. Frank, a par here, that's just fine. Another challenging so, par three here at Bay Hill. It's the 14th, 216 yards, Frank. It plays uphill, prevailing breeze too into your face. So normally much longer. That's than in the bunk as well. Goodness me, what is going on here? That one is in the bunker. Getting some sand in the shoes now. We're a second straight hole. He's in the bunker. All right. So greenside bunker. What's he looking to do with this shot, Frank? Well, really, you have to look at the amount of green you got to play with. You don't have to try and fly the ball right by the flag. Allow it to run. Plus, if you can get it to run like a putt, you never know. It might just go in. Could use this. A putt for par. Oh, 
just keep the round going. Oh, well, Hairs uh, took the lead there. He's obviously got the birdie. 15th now, and a big dog leg right on this one. Frank, what's the best route to take to shoot the low number? You've got to look at that run out down the left side, which is about 320 yards. Um, if you can stay short of that, then that gives you a perfect shot into this green. It's pretty good. Great strike and a great result. Setting up, good chance to attack the flag. Now the approach shot, par four, 15th hole. Frank, break it down. Green oh, it's in the bunker again. The most generous wow. The ball is in the front half of this green. It's also the flattest section of the green. And an awkward little bunker shot. Just splash it out, let the ball run towards the flag. Oh, it's in. <laughs> well. Beautifully done. There you go. Now at the 15th, big dog leg right here. What's the best way to go, Frank? So, it's very tempting. We, uh, well, look at that four way tie at the moment, but what's it going to be by the end of the day? Let's have a little look. Well, we are co leader with Brian Harmon and Sean O'Hare, but look at Kutchen Gonzalez, one shot behind. What a thriller we are in for in the next episode. help me out and it means a lot to me as well subscribe to the channel for regular golf content and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye